no smell at all. But then hamburger and meat in any way. You're right, there's no smell. No smell to this. So I can what? push this in my pocket and go all Ooh, the way around. Oh, I guess the smell gone with the gas. Hello everybody, welcome to One One Coco. Thank you for joining us today. We are going to do a tour of the Sandy Family Farm and we are in a place called Guapo in San Andrew, Grenada. And I've never actually been to this village, so it's my first time up this side. Well, today we're going to be seeing how waste, yes, it's not a nice topic, but this waste has been converted into biogas to be used for cooking. So, I think you're going to find this video quite interesting. Hi, hi, Sherwin Sandy. Welcome to Kopo, Sandy's Family Farm. So this is a farm where everything happens through a recycling concept. We produce our own cooking gas, own electricity. So this is where we produce the waste for the biogas unit. And so what we have here is some pigs. We use the waste mainly from the pigs to produce the gas. We have some chickens on the other side, but we don't use the waste in the biogas unit because of the components of the waste from the chickens. So you right? don't use it for the, I don't use the it chicken for the, waste? I don't use the chicken waste to produce gas. You could use it, mm -hmm. but the system that we have, it is too hot for the system. It will damage the system. Oh, so you use just the pig? So I just use it from the pigs as well. Okay, okay. Right. So what I'm doing here now, I'm watching the ground. So let's assume the pig is inside here and I'm beating the pig. Mm -hmm. Wet the ground. So you see how here looking, how here looking, the waste yes. here, how it looking moist, mm -hmm. as opposed to over there. Yes. So that will happen during the night. Okay. So that's what we're going to use some of this here and go after the biogas system with that. Is for food, waste production. Okay, and three pigs could I produce have, how I much? Only three for now, but mm -hmm. one for my operation. Mm -hmm. I need between 15 and 20 pigs for to produce the amount of waste I need per day. The three is not enough to produce what okay. I need per day okay. based on my cooking process. Mm -hmm. Now, for home use, somebody has a small family with cooking on interval, mm -hmm. then three pigs is more than enough. If you look through here. You will see a tub in here. Mm -hmm. Right, see this tub? Mm -hmm. I put the waste from the, the goats inside here. Mm -hmm. And that breaks down. And that's where all the nutrients goes to. So you have holes at the bottom or something? Yes, it's an opening at the bottom. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So as fast as I'm harvesting the waste from the goats, mm -hmm. I, put, I, I drop it at different points and the plants get up. Okay. So we have, right? So we have is the waste, and the waste goes. The waste goes in here. So this is what we collected from the bag from the pig shed, mm -hmm. and we are going to put this inside of the bag. Yes, you know. So it goes in like this way. <laughs> There are two storage on it. There are two storage here. This assists with controlling the waste, the food on the inside and the biodigesting. So as much as you get the food, mm -hmm. this produces the oxygen and moves the particles around so it will not stay in one place and settle and keep on the inside because if that happens then the system will not produce the gas. So this is like a pump or kind of right. in like Right, so there's a couple at the end of it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And you pump that. There's another one over here, same thing. So this is what has to move the materials on the inside. So what's inside there? In here is what we call the biodigestive and food plus the gas that is being produced. There is gas inside. Mm -hmm. How do I know that? Because this is all pop. Mm -hmm. right? This has gas inside. How do you get the gas out now? The gas has a line 
There's an outlet for the line, mm -hmm. for the gas, on the opposite end of this. Okay, so that's that over that's, there? That's the black line you see over here. So the gas comes out here. The gas comes through this, mm -hmm. and goes up to the storage unit. Oh, and you have a storage at the top. So the okay. storage unit, the main storage unit is at the top. Okay. And down here is just for emergency pieces. So the waste, the waste that comes from the unit now, mm -hmm. the biodigestive, we call it biodigestive. And this is what is used to treat the plants now. And all of the food that the plants need comes to this. <laughs> So this is what happens, this is how it comes out. I haven't seen it. So under normal circumstances, if I put in five gallons, five gallons will come out automatically. So I would I would pull it, I will use this and pull it out. After it comes out now, then I bag it up in these things. Oh, they were just right. here. This is what the solid form looks like. So I use this. I use this now to treat my plants and then. So when I'm planting my seedlings and so on, I use this to do that. You see how nice and... Yeah, it's actually visible, but I, I can't guarantee that I'll touch it. <laughs> not, not bare hand. <laughs> Nothing happens to you. Though. Right, so what happens, what, how, how, that, how I achieve that now? After it comes out from the unit. See how it's slowing? Mm -hmm. so I just take it like this. Put the tub here and I take the bag now and I do this and I rest it here. The solid stays inside and the liquid comes out. Mm -hmm. Or if I want to, I can rest it. I, I, I can rest it around the, the trees. Also, the, so the liquid the water. stays. Okay. The liquid stays in there as well. Still recycling. This is the liquid of what's Whatever is coming out from the bag, mm -hmm. that's the liquid. It's okay. filtered okay. and comes like this. So I have this is a I just put some in here. Mm. That's a Christophine here. And on the ground here is a pumpkin. And I have my pumpkin running, my Christophine running. No smell to that. No smell at all. That and Hamburgian moves in any way from You're nothing. right, there's no smell. No smell to this. So I can what? push this in my pocket and go all oh, the way around. Oh, I guess the smell gone with the gas. That's is that safe not, to say? Oh, not no. gone with the gas, but because it is all broken down. So because because we would have recycled the snow to get the gas, mm -hmm. this is all broken down in a matter of days. Well, I have to ask you, how long does it take from the, the time you pour the waste? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so how long it takes from the time you right. pour so it in there? It takes you about to... 30 days based on the, the volume that you put in. So okay. if you put in 15, gallons per day, mm -hmm. by the end of the month, the first that you put in will come out. So the unit, the unit is actually 17 and a half feet long mm -hmm. by five and a half wide by okay. four and a half down. So um, about 60 like you can fit in there. <laughs> 60 like yeah, like that. Put fit in in there. This is our hospital. And what we do here mm -hmm. is to try to try to revitalize the plants and so on when they are looking at and so on. Mm -hmm. See like this one here. Now the plant that we put here, it was already dying. Started to die already. Mm -hmm. And so I put it there and you see how it come up to this? Mm -hmm. Because when they right, so you see all of this, you see how moist and then here is and what happens. So as fast as this is here, this is getting the nutrients it needs and it is staying as moist as ever. This is one of the things that I see to farmers especially when they when they have questions about the biodigestive. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fight, fight, fight always. Wait, 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 wait. It saves you on water. Yeah. It saves you on time as well. Mm -hmm. Time it will take you to have to stand up and sprinkle or have to go to the pump to turn on the, top, the pump for the, the wet, go back and take it out, that kind of thing. If you have a meeting to go to, if you have a kids to send to school, you can comfortably do that. With no pressure, even in the dry season, mm -hmm. and your, 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 your seedlings and so on, your vegetables are still up. You know what plant is this? Cabbage? No. Beets? No. Okay, I don't know. Right. This is spinach. Purple oh, spinach? Oh, yes. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. Now look at this spinach plant here. Turn around. Turn around. And this is the same spinach here. Oh. Well, I mean, I can argue there are different stages. 
there are different stages? Yeah, I don't know. This one looks like if you just put it in yesterday, this one could maybe have two weeks or something. I don't know. All right. So I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. They were all planned to be seen. Same time. So stay tuned for a continuation of this visit to Sandy's family farm where we'll be cooking with gas, literally. If this is the sort of thing that you're looking for, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos.